like half a million crystals on the piano, but you know, many of them fell on the oh, floor. Oh. And I was like, had this like glistening floor. Yeah. Lauren Baker's studio with me, Talina, and obviously this is Lauren Baker. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much again for showing us around. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. It's epic. Um, so, first of all, can you tell me about this first piece? Yeah, so this is called The Dark Matter. Mm -hmm. So it's 1.8 metres by 1.8. It's the biggest size you can go that fits through a London door. And it's inspired by the Hubble telescope and how they looked at an area of space the size of like a thumbnail outstretched, a tiny, unremarkable area of space, and then they found through the Hubble lens 100 billion galaxies. Wow. And as they keep improving the lens, they found more and more. And it's the piece is really about like the infinite possibilities of what's out there, other yeah. galaxies, other realms. And I've done this white neon with the black paint over the top because it's kind of about how we think we know what we can see, and then when we look deeper, like the true vastness yeah. of the universe and the potential is, is revealed to us, definitely. Why are you so interested in like the universe and space? Because it's mm. a lot of your work is inspired by that. I guess I'm just obsessed with the fact that we're all made of stardust. Yeah, you know? it's like, it's, it's a fact. Great. <laughs> and the, which brings me on to this piece. Let's go, moving yeah. on. Um, so this is this is that reflection of that. So this so, actually says we are all made of stars. Yeah, and you know when when I've meditated in the Amazon and took part in ceremonies and like you know felt like I was dancing through space. You know I I just felt this massive connection with the whole universe yeah. and. Um, just this kind of like boundless love, boundless energy, boundless creativity, and you know, and I and I express myself through these artworks. So this one is, you know, the night sky, and just a reminder of like, you know, microcosm and macrocosm, and the fact that you know we are just tiny, tiny. little dot specks, know. you know. So, and this piece um, is called "Become the Storm." And it's really about, like, instead of, I made a piece before this, which was um, a diamond dust neon that said, the thunder to my lightning, yeah. which was about a kind of stormy relationship um, where I was like really affected by the storm. And then this is the piece after that, like past the relationship. And it's like become the storm. It's like dancing in the eye of the storm. So it's like this fullness and oneness, yeah. but it's like you, you are the electricity. It's like a really powerful piece. So we moved on to this piece, which is a epic, epic T-Rex. Am I correct with yeah, that? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So what's it made out of? So it's sculpted with resin and then painted and then it's got thousands and thousands of crystals on it. And actually this piece was made because um, I'd made a crystal grand piano and when I looked at my floor after the project, it was like half a million crystals on the piano, but you know, many of them fell on the oh, floor cool. and I was like had this like glistening floor Amazing. and it was like we can't just throw this away and then I was like I, I need to make something you know there was like it you know there was all the kind of like little tiny pieces there were just mm. some of the pieces are like the size of a full stock you know but it's like so yeah, yeah. so then I had this idea too because I'm obsessed with um, animals and yeah. extinction and environmental causes mm. and stuff and I thought you know to to make a baby T-Rex, you know, an animal that's already extinct. Yeah. It'd be fun. So, you do a lot of work with charities, mm. and one of which is Choose Love. Mm. So, yeah, can you tell me about this? Yeah, so I've been um, supporting Help Refugee Charity for a couple of years now. I've made them um, a few, like, one-off prints, and then more recently I made this neon sign for them. Um, and yeah, I just really believe in everything they do. I think mm. it's incredible. And my whole vibe um, in my art is like, you know, thinking about the higher consciousness Definitely. and uplifting yeah. and positivity. And so our values are really synced. And yeah, they're a charity I love supporting. Yeah, because like we were saying before, like all of your art is really uplifting. Mm. And actually something crazy, about two and a half years ago, I was having a literal meltdown and I was mm. in this restaurant 
and um, everything's going to be fucking amazing. I think one of your pieces yeah. was in there, and I didn't know at the time. Uh, and now I'm just like, that's so crazy that it was in there because it made me feel so much better. And I remember oh, posting it on Instagram. Yeah. But it's a fun piece. for me, like when I, I surround myself by kind of like uplifting quotes because mm. I've struggled with mental health in the past. Do you is is that kind of part of the reason why you um, like bring in uplifting quotes? Is there like a story behind that or something? I mean, personal to you. You heard my story earlier of you know when I kind of felt like I was questioning the meaning of life yeah. and I was you know at a point where I was just felt like I was in a rat race and yeah, everything yeah. felt a bit meaningless and mm-hmm, repetitive mm-hmm. and that's when I read the book and yeah. the power of now um, when you know travelled the world and you know found creativity and so yeah I think. You you know it's when people do have that like the dark night of the soul yeah. like you know the, then you know thinking about like reaching out to people and thinking about like what's meaningful in life and it's usually yeah. like helping other people Definitely. like thinking about amazing charity causes mm-hmm. like doing things that just the simple things like you know whatever whatever makes you happy it might be you riding your bike or it might be yeah. making art or it might be Having singing dancing music whatever it is yeah, yeah totally yeah. You just tune into like the frequency that makes you happy So this one is inspired by the universe as well. Mm, Yeah, so this is called The Deep Field, Stardust, The Deep Field. And again, it's inspired by the Hubble telescope and it's a lenticular, so you need to walk past it to see the shooting star. Um, And it's my, you know, like my my daydreams, my my, um, crazy thoughts about like what is out there, like what, what is all the potential of the other galaxies, other realms, you know back to when I studied metaphysics and I'm just like imagining the whole immensity of the universe. So is this kind of like the inside of your brain? Kind of. (laughs) What do you think, this is a bit of a deep question, but what do you Mm. imagine is out there? Like, is there another world? Mm. Is there another Lauren Baker out there? Wow, (laughs) who knows? Possibly, quite possibly. But I do think that, I think there is an afterlife. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, gosh, there could be many, portals to other dimensions there's so many possibilities yeah but I guess I also believe that there's a left life like we were saying earlier Mm. and having like this amazing understanding of space is really reassuring because it doesn't make you so scared as morbid as it sounds of Mm. death yeah (laughs) you know yeah yeah true it's great and when um the more I meditate, you know, the less afraid I am of the unknown. Yeah. And every time I'm making a new piece, it's always there's, it's always the unknown. It's like, you know, it's a whole new piece, new materials, new themes, new... It's like... And the unknown is a scary thing. Very. But it's just like to just kind of like let go of the fear yeah. and just like step forward and fly and, you know, you just play in the universe. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I, and I want to talk to you, I guess, now about that letting go meditation stuff. Do you want to mm. maybe show me a piece that's kind of more inspired by meditation? Mm, yeah, cool. So I'm dying to ask you about meditation and mm. your process with that. Um, yeah. So what, what part does that play in your work? Because I know you do do meditation before you work. Mm, yeah, so I created a collection called The Colour of Energy mm-hmm. and it's all inspired by this like desire I have to interpret unseen energy. Yeah. So everything is energy, everything has a frequency. So I decided to listen to the sound frequencies of the seven energetic chakras in the yeah. body mm-hmm. and for example the heart chakra is 431.1 hertz so I listened to that sound and meditated and then visually interpreted what that energy looks like Amazing. and so I came up with my version of the seven Chac- colors yeah. of the chakras yeah so and this is the solar plexus yeah um, which is about willpower and determination yeah and, and and why is like it important to have kind of like your chakras aligned like what's the what's the benefit of it mm, so it's just like when you when your chakras are aligned you have this feeling of like oneness and completeness and you're flowing and your thoughts words and actions are in alignment and everything just feels like natural you know yeah. Have you ever like had a time where you felt like oh out of whack and yeah definitely when I don't do my morning rituals yeah you know yeah 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 that simple yeah. yeah well it's absolutely beautiful like I absolutely love it and as immediately when we came down I was like I feel like this is a solid plexus one yeah like, so I love it. So thank you so much for showing us around your studio and chatting with us. Thank it's you. been amazing. Um, I feel like very calm and zen Good. and like encouraged because amazing. Like, one thing I think is amazing is that you refound your whole journey at 28 which I think mm. is just 
I mean, 28 is young, but still, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you. Um, where can we find you on Instagram? It's at Lauren Baker Art. At Lauren Baker Art. And you can find us at We Are Hoy on Instagram. Thank you again. It's thank been you. Epic. <laughs>